Hello everyone, my name is Adam and welcome to our new series called Bangers. This is where we rate our cars to see if they're a certified banger or run a boat banger. But anyways, this is my 15 Reg Polo. Let's get into it. So the way the bangers rating system works is if your car is a runabout banger it means that this is a car that is your first car and it's relatively cheap in itself and cheap to insure. You don't mind too much if you scratch or dent the car at all as it already may have not stood the test of time. A certified banger is a car that has a comfortable drive, state of the art entertainment systems and has stood the test of time with minimal wear and tear. Which type of banger is this car? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. So this is my 15 red polo it's a blue motion tdi one liter and don't let that one liter discourage you from this car because this car is a nice sounding car because of its blue motion technology it's something that goes relatively fast it does the bare minimum which is all that you'll need if you're just going to work and back or going to the gym and back like i do or just going for a few shopping runs it is a very nice car it's comfortable it's small so when you park you're not gonna have too much difficulty. It's got decent tech. It's got this screen in here, the infotainment system. It does not have sat nav navigations or anything like that. So I cannot connect to Apple Play or Android Play, which is, you know, a big letdown if you're paying around 8,000 pounds for this car. But if you've got that money, you want in a decent car, a nice runabout, a reliable car, for the future this is definitely one you should buy there are also two features that i would like to point out that i'm disappointed that a 65 reg car doesn't have these features are automatic lights and motorized folding mirrors this car was manufactured in a year where both of these features should have been standard yet volkswagen made a choice a bad one at that by not including these and this is what it looks like to sit in the back seat as you can see there's not a lot of room but definitely there is enough space for an average human being. I'm saying maybe 5'10 or 5'11 at the max. You're not gonna get anyone six foot or above in here, comfortably at the least. But if you're an average sized human being like I am, I'm definitely not sure I'm average, then you will have no problem fitting in here. And welcome to the boot space in the Volkswagen Polo. As you can see, it's spacious enough to fit me in. I'm a 5'8 individual with a medium build. But if you're ever going to the airport and need some room for your baggage, it can fit a fair few suitcases in here. If you need to go for a rather large shopping trip, you can fit a good amount of bags in here as well. Maybe a whole week's worth, maybe two weeks worth of food for your family. It's going to be no problem if you want to smuggle children in here as well. So yeah, keep that in your mind. So as for the aesthetics of this car, as you can see, there's not a lot of dents, not a lot of scratches. There may be a little micro scratches on the surface, but definitely not anything that shouts at you at all. Nothing that will decrease the value of this car. It's been with our family from my brother to me. My brother got it from 60,000 miles and now it's at around 118,000 miles. I've done around a thousand on it myself. Haven't been going any anywhere far probably just to newcastle and back which is about 100 miles there and back if you're someone who doesn't really use a car too much this is definitely for you because it will have the longevity of an absolute beast i also want to add the wear and tear of the alloys the majority of the damage had been made by my brother who was the previous owner of the car and he is not a bad driver whatsoever these alloys are just ridiculously easy to scratch so this has been the short yet informative review of my 2016 polo comment down below what you think of it this is going to be a certified banger not a runabout banger because i think this has got enough technology for the average person to last year for the next couple of years so if you are wanting to buy a decent car i would search for a polo maybe even a polo gti if you've got a bit extra money and you want to get a two litre car but without further ado this is the first episode of our new series, Bangers, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.